Hi, in this video we're going to introduce UltraCarol. So we've been using SuperCarol in all of our programs, and again, love SuperCarol. Great dog, knows lots of really cool tricks, but I'm really excited. Here we go, SuperCarol is finally evolving. What could SuperCarol possibly evolve to? That's right, you guessed it. SuperCarol evolved to UltraCarol. This is big, this is really great. UltraCarol knows some really cool tricks. So introducing Ultra Carol. Ultra Carol has the ability to paint the grid world. So let's take a look at the Ultra Carol API. Ultra Carol knows all of the standard Super Carol commands: move, put ball, take ball, turn left, turn right, turn around. But Ultra Carol knows one really special move. Ultra Carol knows a new command called paint. Now notice that there's a color inside the parentheses of paint. What is that? We haven't seen that before. We can put things inside the parentheses. This is known as a parameter. So introducing parameters. Parameters are inputs into functions. We can pass a parameter to a function to make it do special things. If you think about it, functions have output. If we call paint, this will have an output to the world. It will have an effect on the world. Carol will paint the world a certain way. Now the parameters are inputs into the function. If we pass the parameter color red as an input into paint, then the results paint will be red. If we pass input color blue, then the result paint will be blue. All functions have output, whether it's move, turn left, or paint, but certain functions take inputs. How can we use parameters? All we have to do is call the function. We call paint, and inside the parentheses, we pass in the parameter that we want. The parameter goes inside the parentheses. We have to make sure that we still close the parentheses. Notice that the move doesn't need any parameters. Move is a function that takes no parameters, whereas paint needs one parameter. You need to give the color to paint so that it knows what to do. That's how we pass colors in as a parameter. So what colors can we use? Here's a list of all the colors that we can use with Carol. It's important that you say color, square bracket, then put the name of the color inside quotes. We can say color red, color blue, all the way down to color purple. These are the constant colors. So that's how paint works. Let's take a look now at the condition. So what about other conditions? Well, Ultra Carol knows all the standard Carol conditions. Ultra Carol knows front is clear, front is blocked, left is clear, left is blocked, facing east, facing west, etc. But there's actually one more condition that Carol knows. Carol knows a new condition, and that condition is color is, and this one also takes a parameter. Using the condition, we can actually ask a question saying, what color are you standing on? We can say color is red, yes or no. Color is blue, yes or no. Doing this, we can actually have Ultra Carol do different things depending on what color Carol is standing on. Here's a classic Carol condition example. If front is clear, move. So with this code, Carol will only move if the front is clear. Here we see an example of using a color condition. If color is red, then move. In this case, Carol will only move if the current square is red. If Carol is standing on a color other than red, Carol won't move. So that's Ultra Carol. Let's see some examples of Ultra Carol in action. Okay, so we're going to look at an example where we're going to have Carol paint a red frame around our um, screen. So let's take a look at this in pseudocode. So basically what we want to do um, is have Carol paint a row. So I'll say paint row, then turn left. And we're going to have Carol do that four times. So we'll tab that over. I'm going to say repeat four times, okay? And then, so we have to define, well, how are we gonna paint a row? So we're gonna say function paint row, and that's gonna basically be saying, while the front is clear, paint red, and then 
once we get to the end of our row here, we have to do one more paint red square there before we can actually finish that row. So we're going to just do one more paint red, and that's kind of our fence post condition. Okay, so now that we have the pseudocode, let's go ahead and make this actual code. So I'm going to leave that down there so we can kind of see it as a reference. So we're going to say define paint row. Okay, and so we're going to say while front is clear. Oh, and we forgot one other thing in here. So we're going to say paint color red. And the one thing we did forget here is we need a move as well. So we'll say move. Okay, and then again, once we get to the end, we've moved all the way to the end, the front is no longer clear, we still have to actually do this block here. And so we're going to do another paint color red. Oh, we need square brackets there. Okay, so that takes care of that part. Now we need our loop here, so we're going to say for i in range 4, and what we want to do is we want to paint a row, so paint row, and then after we paint the row, we're going to just say turn left. Okay, so that should take care of that. Let's give this a try and see how it works. Oh, we have one small error here. We forgot our parentheses right around while front is clear. So let's go ahead and try that now. I'm going to speed Carol up a little bit. Okay, and then we get to our fence post and turn. And Carol's off again. Let's go ahead and speed Carol up. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to look at slip and slide Carol here. So slip and slide Carol is just kind of riding the slip and slide. And so what we want to do is we want to basically just say, while the color is blue, Carol is going to move. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to just write a quick function to use that um, color is uh, condition. So while color is, and remember this one also takes a parameter and it's going to take a color parameter. So we're going to say color blue. Okay, and what do we want Carol to do? Well, while the color is blue, we just want Carol to move. Uh, so it's that simple. We're just going to say while color is blue, keep moving. And when the color is no longer blue, Carol will stop moving. So let's see how this works. There Carol goes, gets to the end, and that's it. So that is how we use our color is condition, just like any other condition we had. So now it's your turn to go ahead and play around.